need some motherfucking views. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. Look at their comeuppance. I don't know. So here's the thing. Like, for every situation where someone gets their comeuppance, there's another 25 people who don't. You know what I mean? Like, it's actually a rarity in this day and age where someone actually gets their just desserts. It just seems like this is a pretty, a completely unfair world a lot in a lot of times. And, you know, the, the actual hard workers who should be out there and should actually be getting the credit. And by the way, I don't, I'm not necessarily just talking about me. I'm talking about many, many people out there who are genuine, who love what they do, who do it for the sake of loving it, not for the sake of a paycheck, uh, even though it's, it's fun to make money doing it. Those people get looked over, glossed over, tossed to the side, while it's these elitist guys who get all the attention, and it's never going to change. It's been like that. Television, movies, and every kind of advertising, anything. It's always fucking been like this. These corporations get involved and ruin everything. And something that absolutely needs to be called out because it was the worst thing that happened to E3 2019, Dr. Disrespect goes inside of a fucking public bathroom and thinks it's funny to film people pissing without their permission, breaking California privacy laws, getting banned from Twitch, and getting his E3 pass revoked. What a boneheaded, dumb fuck thing to possibly fucking do to get attention for yourself, especially when you're a streamer who is popular for wearing a fucking wig and a mustache and overacting and being an idiot on stream. Now you're going to pull a stunt like this at E3, making all streamers look bad and being a complete fucking moron. I do not do... Wow! Wow! Wow, guys! Whoa! I don't do any of that stupid shit. What is that noise? Is he jerking off or something? You know, the gaming gaming today in 2019 is drastically different of how it was 10 years ago when I first started on YouTube and anyone could get noticed for being a fun gamer with good commentary or whatever. Now it's it's a totally different world only a decade later. It's messed up. It really is. I would probably be Greg Miller. I would probably be these big time fucking streamers who I don't even want to mention their names because they're assholes and they'll probably talk shit about me on social media if I say anything. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, we're totally gay. Um, because I know a few of them already have, I never said a word about them. A random question, but how would you react if DSP applied to join your guild? I don't give a fuck, dude. I, why would I care? I mean, if he knows how to play the game, I'd obviously, like, invite, like, whoever. Like, I don't care, I mean... I, I have, that's the guy that got caught masturbating on stream, right? Like, I just want to make sure that I, I know who we're talking about here. And when I called, when I, in general, called out on social media influencers, they actually attacked me because they realized that this is their fucking position of power and they rely on the influencer model to be popular and make money. And then if, God forbid, that if I expose it for what it is, they would actually lose money and clout. So they all talk shit about me and try to blacklist me in the industry. Um, but there's a ton of them, guys. A ton of the top people are basically just paid shills. They, why do you think they get everything early? Why the fuck did the guys from Kind of Funny Games get Metal Gear Solid 5 early? Were they known for playing Metal Gear Solid? No. Were they even known for being longtime Let's Players? No. They were the guys who got the game early. They, the golden boys of the industry. These are the chosen people who are going to be the chosen few to represent companies in the future. And you're right, it's becoming this, this paid-for elitist group it's not good it's not it's not good man you know me what compensation do i get from you you guys crowdfund me to do what i i love to do that's loud to do what i love to do and because you crowdfund me i'm able to stay true to myself but if you didn't crowdfund me and instead i relied on you know all this income or all this input from from companies or sponsors or someone giving me the shit for free you know what I mean? Because they made it and they want me to kiss its ass. I wouldn't be who I am today. Pops up and happens and says it's going to fuck you over. She says, no, don't let that come overtake your mind. You have to be, you have to focus on the positive. You have to focus on being here with me. You have to focus on being here on the positivity when you get to stream and you have fun on stream and stuff. Um, and having that positivity and having that support means the world and it changes things. You know, it does.